So we're going to set up a light real quick here, and we're going to do it in Maya. We're going to be using Arnold, and I'm going to go through the basic steps, and I'm going to talk about the major problems that, that most people run into when they first start using Arnold as a renderer. So the first thing that you need to understand, I've got a very simple scene here, and the first thing that you need to understand is scale is relevant. So if you have a really big box and you put a light in there, that light is probably not going to light very much. So your scale needs to be relatively close to the actual units that you're using. The next thing that you need to do is actually use Arnold materials. So if you are uh, clicking on an object, you can always put in Arnold uh, material, use existing here, and it's always got a, a base sub standard surface material. I'm going to just click this and add real quick two Arnold materials to here. The next thing we have to use, if you are using lighting, generally if you're going into the rendering and you're going to try and use these lights here, these lights will not work with Arnold. They will work with Viewport 2.0, but not Arnold. So we're going to set the renderer to Arnold. It's going to pop up this window. We don't need it. We can set it down here. So the first thing that we're going to do is show you a quick render of that. And ultimately, if I hit render, it is going to be black. Uh, and this is because the simple fact that there is no light in the scene and Arnold requires lights to actually see stuff. So we have to basically create a light. You can go here, Arnold, lights, and I'm going to put in an aerial light. So the area light will put it in the center and you'll see I'm just going to kind of move it and shape it accordingly. So I'm just going to kind of face it like this and face it like that. And I'm going to hit render again and you'll notice again it is a black scene. And this is because there is not enough light in the scene to basically work with it. We're going to go into the Arnold attributes of that light and you're going to notice there's two categories here, intensity and exposure. Uh, exposure is how much light is in the, the surrounding scene around it. So it's basically going to push it up and I'm going to bring up the intensity of it as well, just to show you how this works. So ultimately, you are going to click the render button. It's going to render and now you're going to start seeing the light. So that's how you get the Arnold renderer to work. The big issues are that you're not using Arnold materials, that you're not using Arnold lights, and that you're not giving it enough intensity and exposure in the scene to basically make things work. Um, also, again, scale makes a huge difference. So if I put a light in here and that scale is, we'll say, you know, six times this size, that light will not light up nearly enough of that scene. So you'll have to either make the light bigger or put more exposure and intensity in the scene. And that is how you get an Arnold light to work.